And there it is, my focus, focus, focus. Well, it doesn't want to focus, but that's a Q6600 um, that I was able to get for free um, a while. This is actually from a while ago. Um, I found a computer from, that someone was throwing away, and uh, I grabbed it and pulled it open. had a bad motherboard, but it did have RAM and an ECC600, so I got that for free. And if you guys were watching earlier in the video, I've gotten this motherboard, which is missing a capacitor right here, burnt out, so it's probably not going to work, and I'm not even going to try it. Um, but he did sell me this tower, which is ridiculous. It has all these temp meters on the front, um, and then on top of it, uh, this really beefy cooler, and this is a this is an AMD board. I'm like pretty sure I, I haven't checked. So let's go ahead and pull out that CPU and see what we got going on here. I'm gonna shut my door because people are being noisy. All right, so back to what we were doing here. Come off, come off. Ooh, that was on there. Oh, it pulled the chip right out. Well, you can see the pins on it, so chances are that's AMD for you. Um, I hate it when they do this. So let's see what kind of CPU we have here. I'm, I'm very curious. Oh my god, that is, that is burnt on there. Oh my god. So I've came up across this before with a CPU. It was my friend's, uh, holy shit, I'm like really pulling on it. It is not coming off. I had to, uh, my friend's back in the day, his uh, FX6100, 60, um, his cooler went out, his fan on the cooler went out, and his CPU was overheating, so he replaced the cooler, um, but didn't do anything else to it, because he's not really computer savvy. Um, and I remember having to take a screwdriver and a hammer to get it off, and holy crap, is this on there? This, yeah, this might need the same, but it is really cool. It's got like a badass fucking high-tech heat pipe right here for back in the day. We're gonna see if we can reuse this somehow. Um, hopefully that fan's not dead, we'll find out. But uh, I need to get that off first, which means I need a screwdriver, at least. Um, let me see if I can find a really small flathead. Maybe I won't need a hammer. Um, maybe, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, my friend, my, uh, my old friend that I had to get his CPU off, uh, CPU off of the cooler, I ended up hitting it with a hammer a few times to get it loose. And, uh, Oh my god, this, this might need the same remedy here, because this, this thing is just not coming off. Uh, what do I have that I could use as a hammer lying around my room? Uh, I guess I can use this handle with a screwdriver. So you don't need to like hit it really hard, you just need to like bump it loose. So I do not go anywhere near the PCB, I stay on the metal part in between the metal and the cooler. Uh, the um, heat, seat, heat shield and the cooler, and just kind of tap at it, see what happens. And that's just showing you guys how stuck the CPU is right now. Holy crap. I might even take some carb cleaner to it just to break up that thermal paste. Holy shit. Oh wow. That is uh, that is stuck. Is 100% stuck. We have a few bent pins here, but nothing uh, bending back won't fix. I'll just bend them back real quick so I don't forget about them later when I try to plug this thing in to see if it works. Yeah, that's uh, it's fairly unfortunate. I'm gonna go get a real hammer and a real flat head. We're gonna try it again here. So I got a hammer and I didn't couldn't find any of my real flat head, so I just put an attachment and this will work the same. So hashtag use a real hammer. Um, and we'll see how this works. I gotta hold it steady, give it one good hard punch and see what happens. There it is. Holy crap, that was like glued on there. So this is an X2 6400, not bad, not bad. Um, not bad at all, it's an Athlon, you know, old school. So uh, I don't know if it'll still work because I just hit it really hard with a hammer. Um, but I will say that my friend's FX 6300 or 6100 worked after I hit it really hard with a hammer, so I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, the chip that was in the motherboard that he, the Intel motherboard he sold me, um, is a Core 2 Duo right here. It's a E8200, um, but I have that Q6600, which is a quad core, which uh, I'm more excited about than I am with, with that. So we're going to go ahead and start unplugging shit. And uh, oh, also, good job. Um, on top of getting some IED uh, cables, 
I also got, I'm trying to get it out of here if I can. I don't know how these clips get undone. Oh, there we go. Right here, old school 2.4 gigahertz wireless card. That's right, you guys, that PCI Gen 1 right there, or that, what is that? Is that an X4 slot? Oh, yeah. There you go. That's what you need in life, one of these. So, luckily, all the old shit I have is compatible with that now that I have this thing. Alrighty, so we have lots of RAM here, which I'm actually really excited about to go through and see how much we got. So we got uh, 100, 1,024 megabytes, so one gig, uh, one gig. This is one gig, one gig. So we had a total of four gigs. Kind of sad about that because I actually have, um, in the computer that came with the Q6600 um, a long time ago, I can find it. Uh, there's only one in there. I don't know where the other one went then. Uh, oh yeah, I put it on the table. So the computer that the Q6600 with, I got these right here. These are actually two gig sticks of uh, DDR2 memory. So we're going to go ahead and put these in there for sure and use these because I know they work. And uh, I wonder if they mark this, which channel A and which channel B. Oh, they did. They do mark it on these older motherboards. So I'm setting up this motherboard right now. I'm going to run it with that old power supply um, just to kind of get like a full system test here. So we're going to go ahead and we see that this is DIMM A1 right here. So this is actually a really good, cool motherboard for back in the day. I mean, now it's not shit compared to what we have, but uh, at the time this was a, a pretty beefy motherboard. So I'm actually really happy that I got this one and I just am really hoping that it works. Honestly, that's, that's really all there is to it. I just hope that it works.